So it's the end of the year and I'm doing my end of year boxing awards and I wanted to talk about my prospect of the year. Now look, boxing is in really good shape, guys. We have a lot of up and coming talent from all over the world, but to me, three prospects stand out as far as what they accomplished this year. Joshua has been very busy, 10 bouts in about a year, and he's scheduled to face Kevin Johnson January 31st, 2015. I love that matchup. In just his 11th fight, going up against such an experienced professional opponent, the thing I love about Joshua is he doesn't just look the part. Of course, he's a big guy. You know, everyone talks about the physique. He's got all the physical tools. He looks like a true athlete, but he's got the mental attitude of a champion. You know, you watch interviews with Joshua and he's so willing to learn. He's eager to learn. He's a humble guy. He's already worked a little bit with Vladimir Klitschko, the champ, and Vlad had nothing but good things to say. So the potential is there with Joshua. It's just, you know, with the heavyweight, we always got to wait and see what happens when they get the chin checked. But for now, you know, the sky's the limit for Anthony Joshua. Of all the American Olympians in the 2012 class, Errol Spence looks to be the best of the bunch. You know, I, I think he does everything offensively great. He, he mixes up his punches well, and he shows a lot of composure, which is what I really, really like about him. When he has his opponent hurt, he doesn't just dive in. He shows control, he goes upstairs and downstairs real well, and he's busy. He's had 15 fights in about two years. That's important for a prospect. The only thing that concerns me is that Spence is signed with Al Heyman. And Heyman doesn't always build prospects up the best way. He kind of has these showcase, uh, complete mismatch type of fights for these guys while he's building them up. You know, recent examples uh, like Andre Berto, Adrian Broner. But when these guys get to the elite level against the top fighters or the really rugged, durable guys who can take the punishment and keep coming back, you know, they struggle. So hopefully Al Heyman builds up Errol Spence the right way and he steadily increases the competition, but obviously the potential's there and Errol Spence is clearly one of the best prospects in boxing. There's so much to like about Verdejo. He's had 16 fights in about two years. Uh, he's a big lightweight, 5'9", 72 inch reach. He's only 21 years old and he's excited, but he's young, like I said, so he's gonna be moving up in weight as his body fills out more. He'll probably settle around uh, welterweight and we'll see if that power comes up with him. You know, In the meantime, my concern would be that he gets those fundamentals sorted out. I think he takes too many punches for my taste. I think his team needs to make sure that he learns defensive responsibility and things like that. So as he moves up the ranks and moves up in weight, and that power doesn't necessarily translate the same way at the higher weight classes, he can also box. He's shown the ability, he just needs to master a few more things. But for me, hands down, 2014 prospect of the year, Puerto Rico's Felix Verdejo.